Hello, 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 bright blessings one and all. Hello and welcome to Ascension to Love with Alice. We are here to do a week at a glance. We're going to be looking at the week commencing Monday, the 23rd of August, all the way through to Sunday, the 29th. Um, we are moving into Virgo season, right? We're moving into Virgo season. So we're leaving that wonderful, fiery, uh, courageous uh, Leo season, that charisma and, you know, that passion, that drive within us. We're moving away from that into the wonderful service orientated Virgo, the very grounded, um, wonderful energy that that beautiful uh, sign brings and influences within all of us. And, you know, um, some of you may be very new to kind of um, cosmic energies and things like that, but, you know, to understand more how a certain um, sun sign or moon sign or something like that um, impacts you, have a little look at your natal chart. You can get those for free on sites such as like astro or astro.com, Google it. Um, but you'll need to know your date of birth and your place of birth and your time of birth. But it's always very helpful for me personally anyway. So, um we are still in August though, so let's have a look at this next week coming up. So we are in a weekend right now. This is being recorded where it's been a very, very, very powerful um, full moon, powerful for um, a few different reasons, right? You know, it is encouraging and bringing out and drawing out aspects within us that isn't in alignment with truth, with freedom, with um, sovereignty. It's showing us those aspects within ourselves, those woundings within ourselves. That's what this full moon is doing. It's allowing us the opportunity to balance the scales to balance out in a masculine, out in a feminine, to balance um, many, many things, you know. And um, but especially when it comes to that sovereignty, you know, especially when it comes to that sovereignty. Um, so we're going to have a little look here. I'm going to see if we can shuffle this with earphones in <laughs> without hitting the um, earphone cable each time. But let's have a little look. At, um, we're just going to ask whichever archangels wish to come out and join us right now. Um, to tell us about this week ahead and then we're going to call in the unicorns and the dragons as well uh, they're already here with us but I'd love to see who wishes to actually show themselves for this so I have Archangel Gassissa showing up first and foremost so whew, this is all about creating a spiritual foundation this beautiful Archangel this is about being in service to the planet so an excellent uh, Archangel to support Virgo season starting happy birthday to all the Virgos out there um, you know, this is allowing, um, this energy is going to allow us to kind of um, move us forward in on our spiritual path. You know, we've had, a, the Leo season is so powerful because of the alignment with Sirius, because of the alignment with Orion, because of the alignment um, that happens over um, over Egypt and Giza and uh, Lion's Gateway and that which is all about aligning us with that uh, true soul mission, right? Um, and we kind of go through that fiery aspect and then get to... Um, you know, get to now where it's actually kind of grounding with that Virgo energy. It's actually going into the earth and going, okay, this is the way forward. This is what we're doing. So everything else is going to fall away. That doesn't serve that. That doesn't help. That's not in your highest good. And that's a good thing, right? We as humans can sometimes fear change and have a little bit of worry about it. But um, it's really funny because when we actually face fear, whatever that looks like, when we actually face the uncertain the unknown, so many opportunities, so many doors open wide up. So Archangel Gassisa, she um, brings down the light from other planets, other um, cosmic systems that are helping. I have a couple of birds just behind, just kind of um, being really wonderful, <laughs> um, dancing in the air with each other. Anyway, um, and she also sends that light that we create, that we are anchoring in, back up out to them as well, which is increasing our light quotient on this earth. Right, individually, collectively, and as planet, right, sending that back out to the solar system, to you know, uh, to the other planets there. So we have Archangel Cassissa showing up first, and as we move through the week, we've got Guardian Angel coming in. Guardian Angel, I just did a video yesterday as part of the Archangel series that we're doing, um, introducing us all to Guardian Angels who are Guardian Angel. They are here to love you so unconditionally. They are your best friend in the whole wide world. They literally have been with you since birth holding your soul contract and um, and helping you whenever you're asking for it. We have free will as humans. We do need to make sure that we ask for that help and assistance. But um, Guardian Angel is going to be reminding us. So, you know, this is around like, you know, Wednesday, around Wednesday time, Tuesday, Wednesday, because this is in a linear progression. We're um, calling upon these energies where, um, you know, you're going to be encouraged to ask for help. 
right? Ask your guardian angel for help. Ask your guardian angel for a sign that you are on the right path, that whether something is the right thing to do, whether it's aligned for you to do, whether it's in your highest good. And when something is in your highest good, it's in the highest good for everyone as well, right? So that's really important to know. But we have guardian angel coming in and that's going to that's gonna mean as well that it's an excellent time for inner child wounding. So what that could look like is it could it could look like kind of like the um the kind of spillover from this weekend because we are being shown what is um because we're being shown what is uh, maybe out of balance for us this weekend you know we get to rectify that right we get to rectify that um and heal that right and that's really beautiful so guardian angel is there supporting that so we're going to pull unicorn cards and dragon cards afterwards as well to get deeper messages but let's have a little look here at uh, which um, Archangel is going to be supporting to the end of the week. <laughs> so <laughs> we have Archangel Samael. <laughs> I laugh because Archangel Samael, he is kind of like quick speed ascension. That's what he represents to me anyway. This is about um, choosing to act in wisdom and grace. This Archangel brings us that... Um, that peaceful harmonious response and presence that we're going to be reminded we're going to be offered um opportunities we're going to be offered um experiences that could be a little bit contrasting that could trigger a little bit of judgment within us right and we're going to get um offered that space to to go okay well am i going to respond in a harmonious way and actually show that i've healed what i've been wanting to heal earlier on in the week right or am i going to react how um you know, I'm going to react. I think that's the word there. I'm going to react rather than respond in love, right? And that's what's really interesting because whenever we're healing, whenever we're clearing on something within us, whenever we're locating and um, loving a part of ourselves that we have um, rejected, because that's what everything is. The whole world is there as a mirror to us. You know, we can um, we can want to project that wounding outwards to another person, experience, a place, a thing. But really, it's just showing us what is wounded within us. So at the start of the week, when we've had Archangel Gassissa come in and Guardian Angel come in to help us heal, once we heal on those emotional and mental planes and access that, we then have the opportunity to heal it on the physical plane because that's what makes it real in this world, in this lifetime for us, in our experience, because we are physical human beings, right? So Archangel Samuel is bringing that through, um, you know, saying, okay, well, are you going to choose to respond in love here? Are you going to choose to act with wisdom and grace? right? This is the enlightened crown, wisdom and grace, right? The knowledge that you have, how are you going to verbalize it and vocalize it? You know, how are we, um, how are we going to respond to someone or something who, um, you know, who may potentially be in fear, right? Because we get that, we get that every single day as well. I had that today, right? You know, someone was in fear and, um, and was projecting that and I could have responded in an equally fearful way but what would have that done that would have energized that whole thing and not helped anyone so what do I do is I take a step back I send love I send healing right and a lot of times we don't actually have to verbalize anything because it's better that we don't <laughs> a lot of times <laughs> um, because when someone is triggered when the ego is triggered there's no getting through that not until they've calmed down not until that ego has diffused itself and start to feel safe again right because the ego is that wounded inner child you know so let's have one more card here one more archangel um an assistant here for the end of the week coming up let's have a little look <laughs> thank you i knew it was going to be this one she was on the bottom of the deck earlier and um, i was like oh i should pull that card and she just jumped out of the deck anyway so archangel mallory that is that feminine energy that uh, that governs the crown, right? It's the feminine Christ light, you know. Um, Archangel Mallory uh, is this burgundy gold color. It's kind of like that divine feminine color, you know. People that would um, people that recall Mary Magdalene and her auric field was very much these colors because Archangel Mallory also was helping her massively as well because she helps us remember who we are. She helps us take action when we're ready, when we've when we've done what we need to do, when we're ready. But and even when we we don't feel that we're quite ready, she helps us. She goes. She gives us that encouraging nudge and reminds us that you know the actions that we take now are going to be on purpose they're going to be on purpose and they're going to have a reason and a bigger reason than what we realize you know in that moment in time but we're also protected and we're safe you know it's that feminine christ light she brings to the feminine christ light energy which is powerful very powerful so a very po and look at that lady gaia is on the bottom of the deck here so this does feel like this week coming is going to be 
full of wonderful challenges, right? But that's a good thing. You know, we are here on this mystery schools of planet Earth to have a challenging experience because that's what we wanted. That we wanted our souls to grow and to expand, right? And the quickest way for human beings to do that is through contrast. So when anything appears to us, when anything shows up in the physical world, right, as an experience or an interaction or anything like that, you know, every single moment that that happens, we get to choose how are we responding, how are we hearing the lesson, are we seeing why this has appeared, why we've attracted that to us, because that's what really is happening here, there are, there are pr uh, principles of living on this planet, in this universe, and there are laws, one of them being a law of attraction and repulsion, right, or rejection, um, attraction and repulsion, I think it is, um, and, you know, many of you have heard of that because of wonderful people like Abraham Hicks and Esther Hicks and, um, you know, and other people that talk about the law of attraction. It's a big thing now. Anyone that's watched The Secret understand that. But do we understand it on a real deep level, right? Everything that is coming through oftentimes is coordinated by our higher self anyway and guardian angel. So they're an incredible team to work with, right? And it reminds us that we are that divine being, but we also wish to grow and expand ourselves in this capacity, right? So it feels like it's going to be a big week for that. So how we face that and whether our hearts are open <clears throat> and we're tapping into the light of this earth and the light coming um, through for us, um, that's going to be a big thing as to whether, you know, as to how smooth our week flows and goes and, you know, are we dancing through it and are we weaving light through it and are we dancing through the tougher times and, you know, finding a way to release resistance or are we getting stuck there and allowing it to spiral, right? One thing's for sure, do not keep your body still. If you are feeling overwhelmed or heavy at any point from now until whenever, just in general, move your body because that's energy getting stuck if it's not releasing it, right? And we are wanting to ascend, right? And that's part of it. That is part of it. So I'm going to ask the dragons to... Already jumping out here. Yeah, okay. Dragons are going to help us. Uh, I'll show us how they're going to be able to help us. So we've got the we've got Archangel Michael's dragon coming out first and foremost. The royal blue and gold dragon. Dragons are incredible because they are able to access frequencies and densities that angels and archangels can't quite access you know they can help in many many ways and they're incredible for that but dragons have a way of being able to actually transmute that and burn up and help us kind of um, alchemize whatever energies are there so for first dragon coming out here is the royal blue and gold dragon royal blue and gold dragon blue and gold Stand in your power, um, strengthen you to stand in your power with wisdom. This is about really recognizing your majesty, and this is what this weekend is meant to do, right? If we work with it, you know, there are many people um, out there in the world, you know, everyone has a different truth, and it's so important that we are like part of spiritual sovereignty is to um, feel into what everyone is saying myself, another person, doesn't matter how many followers or how few followers they have, we tune into what they're saying and we find whether it's true in our own heart. Right? We find whether it's true in our own heart, okay? Because that's part of being spiritually sovereign and then taking action that's aligned with that, right? So someone may have a truth, right, based on their human experience, but it doesn't have to be your truth, not unless that really resonates. So just hearing to mention that as well, right? Because um, this dragon carries a sword so you can cut through, so you can cut through any veils of amnesia, any um, any anything that needs healing still, right? You can cut through um, anything that someone else might not be able to see, you know? So we have royal blue and gold dragon coming out. We've also, got <laughs> we've also got Thor's red, black and gold dragon as well. Once again, protecting us in times of change. This is gonna be an epic week for change. We this weekend has catalyzed it. It's gonna continue to be a fiery week. It really will be, um, but in a good way, in a good way. Call upon this dragon, call upon Thor's dragon, right? Look at that, the shield now, with, with a little triquetra on it, right? Power three, alchemy number, you know, protection in times of um, change, right? This is rapid transition and transformation. You are safe, right? You wouldn't be here to not be safe, right? But the human experience can, can make us think that we're not, right? We can have that fear and that's okay. That's okay, right? So call upon Archangel Michael's royal blue and gold dragon. Call upon Thor's red, black and gold dragon. They are a powerhouse team, literally. And we have, we have on the bottom of the deck the Emerald Dragon, which is about healing and abundance, right? Archangel Raphael's dragon. This is a powerful combination of dragons coming in here, right? Because when we know we're protected and we're safe, you know, we've also got this energy of wanting to heal. And what's really incredible is that Archangel Raphael looks after the third eye, amongst many other places for different people. But 
how I'm connecting with him right now is the heart space and also the third eye because we what we focus on what we visualize um, where our energy is going right um, that is what is getting created and that is the same um, and that's especially um, relevant for abundance for an abundance is health wealth freedom prosperity you know everything happiness joy love abundance is all of that right so um good fortune is coming right is what this dragon wants to say but it also just wants to help you heal and breathe that emerald fire into you and around you and anyone that you love as well any space any place right oh i know archangel Raphael's wonderful hey and the healing that can happen when we are open to it when we open our hearts to it um, is phenomenal. This is about aligning with that fifth dimensional blueprint. So, you know, we have to shake out of our skin to do that, right? The snake sheds the skin. That's what we have to do, you know, and that's what is happening this week. So the dragons are really here to support us. And once again, fire dragon now just coming out saying, yeah, call on fire dragon, call on all these dragons to burn up the dense energy around you because you need to focus on your lights. You need to focus on what you're anchoring in. If your emotion and your energy is going elsewhere, that is what will continue to get created, right? So take a moment, breathe, center yourself, pull in the light from the sun from the moon from the other planets from everywhere you know there is light in every aspect there is light in this earth but there is also shadow what are you choosing to focus on as within so without as without so within if you're focusing on something and you think it's a shadow based thing that is because it's within you to see that so we we use that to heal and we call upon this dragon to help heal that uh, i'm not sure how long my phone's going to last here so we're going to jump to the unicorn straight away and bring some final bits of uh, guidance through um it's a very powerful week you guys really anchor in your light focus on your light right focus on your own journey you can't help and save anyone else if you're not filling your own cup right you know we show and help people by um being in our own sovereignty by shining our own light really bright and then you become that activator you become that key code you become that catalyst so that they can stand in their power and their strength and their light and their sovereignty that is how it works right so the more authentic you are the more authentic um, everyone else can be as well and it will mirror outwardly go with the flow of the unicorns are saying look at that unicorn and dolphin two beautiful very 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 pure energies bringing in that um, rainbow that liquid that water and once again water carries that christ-like energy it's got atlantean lemurian energy in that you know we they are saying please just trust relax when we tense up we can't feel what we need to feel relax oh we did that with the guardian angel connection on the um you know we did that with the guardian angel um your guardian angel one um call that we did yesterday um oh i know it's beautiful deck hey freedom of truth coming out again not the first time this has come out recently because that is what is happening it's freedom of truth as within so without this is your truth and the more aligned you get with your truth our truth my truth the more that that will, that will mirror outwardly as well right so you stand strong in your truth what is your truth not someone else's truth not someone else who is you know showing and leading and helping right or not someone else who who feels that they have authority over someone else no no no. what is your truth receive observe is that your truth this is so important you guys and it's so relevant for right now um and then when you when you align with that when you communicate that with your voice when you communicate that with your action when you move forward in that way you know it is so powerful you light a candle for everyone else look at this guy holding a candle here that is what you're doing. That is what we're doing. That is what our mission is right now, to be in our own truth and to light that candle and to let, um, to let ourselves magnetize that within others and to electrify within others that need that, right? To help them shed that skin, you know? But we don't do it through getting into, getting drawn into debates and arguments and, you know, X, Y, and Z. You know, we don't do it that way. We do it by standing anchored and strong. Exactly. Shine your authentic light. Exactly. That's exactly what it's all about. Okay, Mahatma energy, build your light body. That's what you're doing this week, building your light body. This is all part of spiritual discipline. This is all part, right, of that. And not only is it part of that, but that's what Archangel Gassissa was bringing through at the start of this video as well. You know, this is about accelerating your ascension. That's exactly what Archangel Samuel does. He's the acceleration ascension, working with Archangel Metatron and your higher self and your guardian angel, right, and any other beings of light and love that you work with, you know any other ascended beings that you're work, working with this week is about you remembering that you are a master a walking master you are a walking master you are your highest self you get to um, see that every single day yeah you get to see that every single day and every single moment that you choose no matter the distraction and chaos around you no matter how many you know fly the buzzing into you whatever you still carry on focus in your lane 
calm, centered, anchored in your light, knowing what you're here to do, and that is to be joy, to be love, to expand, to grow, to have fun, and to stay focused on what is important to you and your heart, right? You know? And then one final card from the unicorns. And by the way, beautiful souls, thank you so much for anyone that is new to my channel. It's so wonderful to see you all here and it's so wonderful to um, to connect with you and everyone that's commenting. I love you so much. Please feel very welcome to join my Facebook group, the Isis Dream Temple. I'll link it below. Uh, yes to fun. Absolutely. Yes to fun. Um, and feel very welcome as well to have a little um, look for my website, aliceheath.com. Have a little nosy there. It's always a lot of fun to read what someone else wants to write. Hey, so well, I find that way anyway. Um, but the final card that the unicorns are pulling, and this is the most powerful card I think I've ever pulled on a live stream like this, the I am presence. <sighs> Expand your stellar gateway, I am that I am. That is the most powerful thing that you can be saying right now. I am that I am, I am that I am. That is aligning you to the infinite within you. And that then draws and magnetizes that around you as well. I am that I am. Attune to your higher self, I am my higher self. Attune to an archangel, to an ascended being, whomever you need to call upon for help now, I am Archangel Michael. I am Isis. Whomever, I am Bridget. Right. I am a unicorn. Whatever you need to do, because the I is the masculine energy within you, the am is the feminine energy within you, those together are in uni union, they are perfectly balanced in union. When you say that, you are attuning your inner self, your higher self, you're attuning everything to that monad, to whatever it is that you're calling in. I am abundance, I am health, I am whole. I am love, I am living love, I am living light. I, whatever you need to say, say it. I am the golden Sophia dragons, whatever, right? So beautiful souls, I'm going to wrap this up right now. Uh, I'm sending you all so much love. I have slots open um, next week for anyone wanting to book one-to-one. -one. Um, priestess guidance, light worker guidance, um, quantum healing, soul retrieval, anything like that. I have some slots available next week. So um, drop me a message um, or look on my website, aliceheath.com. Uh, and feel very welcome to join my Facebook group. It's always wonderful to connect with you on a more uh, intimate level in that space. So sending you all so much love. Have a beautiful, have a beautiful week and a gorgeous end to your weekend. Bye for now.